Social Security is a federal program, so why are the gubernatorial candidates discussing it? Hi, I'm Phil Harriman, former Republican state senator, and my friend and colleague Ethan Sturmling, former Democratic state senator. Ethan, why are the gubernatorial candidates so hung up on Social Security conversations? It's simple math, my friend. And the simple <laughs> math is that about 50% of the electorate, I'd say actually 60% of the electorate, is 50 years or older. And so Social Security and Medicare are huge and important issues to them. You're right. As governor, neither one of these guys is ever going to do anything about this issue in particular. But both have made statements about it's important that could have a vulnerability for them. And so both sides are trying to get this ground to get this piece of the electorate to vote for them. Let's set it up in a little bit more detail. Governor LePage, of course, was criticized for saying that Social Security was a welfare payment. That was issued by his office in a press release while he was flying back from China. You can imagine how upset he was to uh, learn that his office had sent that out. And he spent a lot of time and a lot of money, even amongst Republicans, making yeah. it clear that he didn't consider Social Security welfare. Mike Mishu, on the other hand, he's got a voting record when he was in the state Senate of voting to tax Social Security, and he, of course, is saying, given that opportunity again, I would vote no. Yeah, and, and you look back at that vote in the same way, you look back at that vote, and that was a vote that actually AARP was supporting at that time, and it was just looking at some of the highest earners to basically means test Social Security, which a lot of people talk about, but uh, Angus King vetoed that ultimately because they figured out that they didn't need it. But, you know, the issue is that both sides, I think, have some truth in this, but both rightfully also get to say, hey, wait a minute, but that's not my position, and of course, that subtlety, the other side of the campaign, will never bring up. Sure. As you say, Maine is one of the oldest states in the country. We have the highest percentage of baby boomers in the workforce. This is a very important issue to them. Yeah, no doubt. This, th this issue, this age group, this voting block will probably decide who's going to win this race. That's probably the best analysis I think I've heard you offer. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>